So he checks over his shoulder a couple of times because he won't know what's going on behind him. No, he didn't know, and he got quite a shock, didn't he, when he saw Yegon appear. He would have seen the blue vest, and he was maybe thinking it was uh, another blue vest wearer, Kipyatic, the debutant, but uh, Yegon is still in there. One more turn coming up, a left-hander onto Unterdin Linden. Here he goes, here's the left turn, and there he is onto the wide boulevard. There we are, we've got a great view. Tim and I had a beer in the middle of that uh, road the other evening just to soak it all up, and there we can see the Brandenburg Gate for the first time. That will be a very welcome sight for this 30-year-old uh, Ethiopian. Crowds pretty significant here, not as big as a normal year, and we're not back in normality yet. We mustn't get too carried away, but running is coming back. That is fantastic. London next week, then Chicago the following Sunday, Boston the day after that. 42 days from now is the New York Marathon. I wonder whether Kennedy Zabekele will revisit his plans to run in the Big Apple after uh, today's experience where the pacemaking went awry and uh, didn't set things up correctly for the big names who were going to go the full distance. But this man survived it all. A world record in effect at halfway for the uh, half marathon, 60.48. The next fastest ever is 61.05. That was by Kennedy Sabekele two years ago. And yet Adola has still put together a solid second half here. Well, he's almost there, isn't he? There he is, the famous pillars of the Brandenburg Gate loom into view. He's almost there. And surely now, the man who made that astonishing debut in 2017 is, four years later, on his way to victory. Well, his third appearance in the World Marathon Major, second in Berlin four years back. A bit of a disastrous experience in London uh, two years ago. But now he breaks into the sunshine and has the finish line in sight. 300 metres to go for this uh, Ethiopian who finds new status with this victory today. He's not won a marathon yet. It's only his fourth ever marathon. He will be taping this in his mind, back in his hometown, his own village of Adola, the same as his surname, in the Aromia region of Ethiopia. They will be roaring this man on. In second place, Bethwell Yegon of Kenya has been the surprise package of the day. There's no doubt about that. In third place, struggling through these final kilometers up, is uh, Kennedy Sebekele, the defending champion. But the title in Berlin in this 47th edition of the BMW Berlin Marathon in the German capital stays in Ethiopian hands. The first marathon victory at the age of 30 for Gie Adola. A masterful run for this man. So richly deserved this victory. The winning time, well, he gives it a thumbs up. As ever with these uh, great runners, they cannot resist having their own